welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to um, work with concrete to make um, some jewelry. So the concrete that we use in here, um, it's a big tub and it's called Quickcrete and um, I just buy the whole tub of it at Lowe's. Pretty simple. Um, whenever we use it we just grab these little Dixie cups and scoop out a little bit at a time. Um, I've got my water here in one and my concrete in another. Um, this is my mold, it's a silicone mold. And these we use sometimes for resin as well, um, but the concrete comes out very easily. I have um, some other ones as well. I'm gonna pour um, two, I'm gonna cast two molds today. The other ones like this, so these have a rounded um, surface to them so when the piece comes out the the part that's in there on the bottom is actually going to be the top of your piece so if you want more of a rounded domed look you can use those we generally tend to use these um, primarily for resin and then um, there's ones like this so the nice thing about these is these already have um, this little piece of silicone that sticks through the concrete which allows for um, there to to be a gap or a hole already in your concrete. So you don't have to go back and drill that or um, you know, uh, poke a hole into it after to connect that to something. So today I'm gonna do this one and it's going, it has like texture in there. And then when it comes out, we will attach one of these little screw eyes. So we'll, you know, once I take this out, so it would essentially be this shape, um, I'm not going to pour it as deep as what I have here. That's that's just too big. Um, but you would use this little screw eye and screw it in the top so that you have a place to hang your chain from. So we're making a necklace. Um, I'm also going to pour some in this long one as well just so that you can see the difference in how this one will have a hole already and this one won't. So to start, um, I'm going to mix up my concrete and I want to show you first, um, I guess before I do that, what I'm going to add to the concrete. So there are several different ways you can kind of embellish your necklace. Um, you could use painter's tape, tape off sections of it, and paint it. Um, metallic paint works really well with it. Usually kind of geometric designs look nice. Um, you could use gold leaf like this if you want to put some of it in the bottom of the mold before you pour it. Um, or you could use glitter. And I purchased this mica glitter, which is uh, really nice because it looks more natural, like a natural stone, than um, just the regular glitter. When you buy glitter from the store, it is um, perfectly cut, so all the pieces look the same, whereas this is more um, natural looking. So I'm going to, on this one, I'm gonna keep it blank you know I'm not gonna put anything in there this one I'm gonna pour some of this glitter in here and I don't want it to fill every bit of it um, but I want it to be just kind of on part of it so I've got that in there I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna mix up my concrete so um, usually when I tell kids and they're doing this they pour a little bit in of the water stir it and they might need to add some more. Um, you are going for kind of like a pancake batter consistency. You don't want it to be too runny or um, the concrete once it sets up could be a little more brittle. And you don't want it to be so thick that when you pour it you risk there being gaps in it. Um, and a lot of times the back doesn't set up very evenly if it's really thick. So this is pretty good. I'm trying to get all the powder off the bottom of my cup here. Okay. So now, I'm going to pour that in 
into my mold. Just like this. And then if you kind of tap around it, any air bubbles that are in it generally will come out. You can use a little toothpick if you need to to poke out any extra. And then for this one, I wanna kind of keep the glitter to that side. So I'm pouring it in the area where the glitter is not first. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't wanna do it <clears throat> the complete thickness of it, so the, the complete depth there. I'm gonna let that settle a second. So when I take that off, because I put a good amount of glitter in this corner, obviously some of it is just going to come right off. But what it's going to do is it's going to leave part of that front surface kind of exposed and it's going to make it look more like a natural stone. So um, you can use, like I said, a toothpick or I have a little thumbtack here. I'm going to make sure I get any air bubbles out. Looks like that one's good. Shake it a little bit, kind of tap it to make sure there's nothing. So um, I'm gonna let these sit up. Usually it takes a couple hours, but um, I always have the kids just leave them sitting overnight. Um, it is a, like a quick set concrete, but just for, um, just to be double, double sure, whatever, uh, we let them sit overnight and then when the kids come back in the next day, um, they are ready to pop them out of the mold and assemble them. So when I come back, I'm going to take these out and I'll show you how you would assemble them. Okay, so um, my concrete has dried. I let it sit overnight um, and I went ahead and popped one out, but I want to show you how to take this out. So you just want to pull the um, silicone mold away from it um, and then you're just going to wiggle it and release it like that. Okay. Um, they, they come out very easily. So the one that I'm using here, remember we used um, the, the mold was uh, textured on the bottom. So it had like a natural stone kind of look. I put the mica glitter um, in the bottom corner and then I, um, when I filled it with the concrete, I made sure that, um, that I kind of did it away from the glitter so that it wouldn't make all the glitter just spread out. Um, now that I've pulled it out, this part looks like kind of more like a raw edge and it has the glitter there, but it's a little, um, not quite as thick as up here. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So from here, the finishing part is pretty simple. Um, I'm basically just going to attach a screw eye to the top and then put the chain on and then it's good to go. So um, to attach this, you just want to find a center point here on the concrete and kind of wiggle it back and forth to get it started. Be really careful with it. Um, some the, th the thinner the concrete, the more likely it is to break. So um, sometimes I'll poke a little, get it started with a push pin. Well, and I'm kind of drilling it in, I'm trying to be super careful because I don't want it to break. And this goes into the resin a lot easier than it does the concrete. But once it finally catches, then you'll see. Okay, I've 
got it in there now. Um, <clears throat> from here, all you're gonna do is attach the jump ring to the chain um, and then you should be good to go. Um, the other thing that you can do instead of attaching a little screw eye like that, if you're having a hard time, sometimes it is hard to drill it into it, um, is you can inset an eye pin before the concrete dries. So you pour the concrete, um, you would lay the eye pin across the back of it. Um, you wanna make sure that you have it um, secure so that it doesn't just fall down in the eye, or in the concrete. But you could do that, um, and then that way, um, the eye pin is actually attached inside of the concrete. So I'm gonna find the middle of my chain here, hook on my jump ring. And I would hook that onto the concrete, onto the um, screw eye. Close that up. Maybe. There we go. So, just like that. Um, <clears throat> one more thing, like I said at the beginning, um, if you wanted to um, press stuff into the concrete other than glitter, um, like dried flowers, you could do that. You could paint the concrete when it's done, um, you know, use painter's tape, tape it off, do some kind of geometric design, something like that. Um, or you could um, use um, the gold flake and there are now other forms of the gold flake so it's not just gold, you can get silver flake and rose gold flake, copper and so on. So um, I personally prefer the mica glitter but Anyway, um, that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.